Watare Uke, Dragon of Sans Heru. Hi, I'm Evan Pantazi. Today we're going to be covering the Watari Uke. It's a movement out of the Weichi uh, Ru San, Sansei Ru. Okay, and it's a unique hand pattern that comes around and comes across. You saw the beginning. And uh, we, we're going to take a look at that again. Now, many people use this as blocking of various uh, methods, okay, blocking attacks. Um, not so much as attack attacks, or, you know, attacking the vital targets of the human body, the Q show. All right, we're going to handle that for you. Now, I'm doing this video just to talk about it just a little bit, the action. Um, but what I would like to do is um, take this further in the Patreon channel and the Platinum subscription, take it a little bit further as well. And the reason being is this is information that nobody else is coming up with. This is um, very important information for anybody in the martial arts, uh, let alone karate, uh, let alone Weichiru, okay, to understand and to work with. All right, these, these pointy weapons that are in these katas, especially in the Uechiru Panganun systems, okay, all those, um, those clawing actions, all those uh, fingertip attacks, okay, they can't be directed just at the shell of the body. They're trying to reach the inner core of the body. And this is the vital information, Kyusho, vital point of karate. It is these uh, attacking the inner man, not the outer shell. The outer shell can be protected through um, strength, conditioning, um, uh, exercise, uh, fighting, concussion. Okay, you know uh, more than anybody as a martial artist that the more you get hit, the more resilient you get to hit being hit. The more you hit the floor as a judoka or an akidnist, okay, um, the stronger your bones are because they get fortified. And uh, you, the stronger your body becomes, the more impervious you are to the falls, even if you um, miss the break fall or miss break falling correctly. So it's a very soft approach like the akidnist will take or the judoka. But you land um, hard because some opponent threw you and you were trying to work against it and you saved yourself, but at the same time you hit the deck anyway, okay, with a resounding thud. And um, you need that body conditioning to withstand that. A normal person would um, lose all their wind. They would lose the ability to fight, carry on, um, or even counter. So again, it's very important. Now the Watari Uke, the hands circling uh, and, and coming around, it's an entanglement, okay? And that is the essence of the dragon. We take a look at the yin and yang symbol, as I've mentioned in my uh, prior films. The yin yang symbol, you have the circle, okay? That is the complete, that's the universe, whatever concept you want to put on that circle, okay? That continuous pattern. In the middle, you have that um, uh, S shape. Now, you have the black, uh, black which is yin, you have the, the white, which is yin within that, okay? The black tiger, the white crane, the yin and the yang, okay? The dragon is the line that connects the both of them and intertwines the both of them. So the dragon is the spiraling um, type of action, okay? Now, there's many different levels to the understanding of the dragon. And um, my instructors in the Kyushu International System were working on the attributes of these animals, okay? And it goes far beyond um, just striking for the white crane, striking the nerve system for the white crane. Yes, that's a base. That's how we start the karate practitioner or the Kyushu practitioner by doing the nerve systems. We advance them through to the blood systems, the compressive, the um, tearing actions, the sealing actions of the black tiger. And then, uh, of course, we go into the dragon, which uh, I'm not going to expound on too much here in the attributes. And the attributes of the other animals is something deeper, okay? There's, there's many levels to this. That what I just explained is just the surface, surface understanding. Okay, we go deeper into it because we want to know how it affects the, um, the physiology of the human body and the functionality of the human body. And the Ubishi is the key to learning all this. It's what opened it all up for us. 
Yes, we started with the uh, pressure points. We got rid of those because we found out that those weren't the working mechanisms of Q-Show. We got into the anatomy and we got into a very um, sophisticated and advanced level of Q-Show application. And uh, then we got into the physiology, the brain waves, the, um, the way that the body functions, the way that the messaging goes back and forth. And we've gotten into the brain, uh, whether it be the conscious or the subconscious. We've gotten into all this and we've integrated and we've come up with these um, attributes that were, if you, if you knew about these and you studied them, you would plainly see them detailed in that bubishi, all right? But um, the beginning of the Sansei Ru Kata is just a mesmerizing um, uh, method, uh, mesmerizing um, hand motion, uh, pr pretty unique in all of karate, all right? And you can see the Chinese influence, you can see the influence of the dragon. In the, the, the film, I'm gonna stop it here now for the YouTube, uh, the films that are in the Patreon and the Platinum script subscriptions, We'll delve further into this as we go into the dojo and we apply these techniques. I'm only going to be applying um, up to three techniques. I don't know which ones are going to be for Patreon, which one I'm going to hold exclusive for the Platinum subscription. But we're going to do three methods um, and uh, show you the effects of the Kyusho using the Watare Uke of Sanseiru. The thing is, if you get hung up on just one way of performing your kata, you'll lose out on so many of the other benefits. Gochiru, Shorinru, the gate and bar, downward block is like that. How many of you thought of the Weiji block? It could be like that. All right? One is very hard and direct, one is yielding. Same block. But if you think only one way, then you'll never be able to see the other ways of doing your, your forms.